I want to welcome you to this uh, very special session in which we honor the work of students who have devoted their uh, time and energy to uh, conducting an inquiry or a creative effort uh, within their particular field of, uh, or discipline. Uh, in the College of Arts and Sciences, we strongly emphasize the importance of interactive learning. Interactive learning can be defined in many ways, but uh, I think one of the critical features of interactive learning is that uh, it involves a process of starting with some knowledge, of acting on a particular, with a particular focus or on a particular project, using feedback from mentors to guide one's effort in that direction, producing partial results, getting feedback on those partial results, trying once again with a second effort or perhaps even a third more uh, efforts to try to, uh, to make it a better product. That kind of interactive learning is critical, I think, to one's sense or one's felt ability to feel a sense of efficacy about your knowledge, about your mastery of a particular area. It is uh, also a wonderful opportunity to appreciate the, uh, what I think is true of all inquiry is that it is conducted in a social context. One only has to look at the foreword to a book to appreciate, I think, uh, the number of individuals involved. Very likely there's a list of at least a half a dozen people who have made a contribution, even if it is a single authored piece. Um, for those in the sciences, of course, often one sees a fairly long list of um, co-authors with a particular piece, but behind the scenes there are those individuals who um, manage the, uh, the supplies room, uh, perhaps it's uh, chemicals uh, that need to be available, or perhaps uh, someone who actually um, sets up the uh, computing equipment that is used uh, for a particular effort. So all uh, in, uh, acts of inquiry to a significant extent are really social products. And so uh, I used to say that when I got an article published, it was worth a dollar. It was 50 cents for the president, 25 cents for the, um, for the governor, and 25 cents for me to celebrate with my colleagues. Because, uh, indeed, it is something which I think we uh, give more appreciation to each other. We, we understand and value the collaborative nature of that kind of research. Uh, I would like to ask at this point in time all those students who are presenting today, would you please stand and be recognized? responsibility to take on uh, a project like this, and it takes a degree of courage to put yourself forward in this capacity. But it's also done in the context of someone who cares about your progress, who cares about your learning, who helps you develop, and that's a mentor. And I'd like to ask all the faculty present who have mentored the student's project to please stand and be recognized as well. I know on the part of many faculty, this is a very selfless act. It's done um, late at night, it's uh, early hours in the morning, it's that extra thing on top of 16 other things that need to be done today. And I think the dedication of our faculty, the commitment to student understanding and learning in this interactive and uh, kind of nature of, of project is uh, a very special thing about Creighton. And so I want to thank all of you who were involved in this. We have a wonderful slate of speakers today. I hope you can stay as long as or through as many of them as possible. Once again, thanks to all the uh, students for emboldening yourself to do this research. Thanks to all the mentors. Thanks to all those who are uh, supporters in the background, department chairs, and administrative assistants, uh, and colleagues, and friends of students who said, yeah, you can do this, and stay with it. So again, enjoy the afternoon. It's a wonderful celebration of what I do think is very important to us.